Peace and greetings to the family. And this evening, we're going to be going over the divine power of I am and what exactly that is. I'm going to be answering some questions you guys DM me on my Instagram and um, I'm going to go over in detail what is the divine power and how can we use it exactly, okay? I want to thank God. I want to thank ourselves. Hotep, prosperity is yours. The divine power is I am. So when I say that, I mean, when you say the word I am, whatever you attach to I am, you become. So if you say I am tired, I am sleepy, you become tired, you become sleepy, you find yourself yawning because your subconscious mind has no clue of when you're BSing or if you're serious. So when you give it that command, it's your literal servant. It will do exactly what you say. Okay. So the word was with St. John. You know, we have to speak our words with a sense of applied faith. Like you can't just say, I am happy. Oh, I am happy. No, you have to say, I am happy. I am prosperous. You have to feel it within. Or otherwise, it just becomes a waste of your time. And, you know, it's just not conducive to your life. It's just not going to get you nowhere of not believing in what you're saying out of your own mouth. Got to get that back. Very important, guys. Because words are the GPS to our reality. Our words can take us directly to the conversation in a short amount of time. Or... It can delay the conversation with words that have no relevance. You know, you can go from a five minute conversation of being very clear, the person knowing exactly what you're talking about, or you can take 30 minutes with the same conversation. So in a sense, words become a GPS to our reality. So we want to get familiar with the English language, you know, we want to get familiar with our words and how to use them and how to use big words so we can get to our objective faster instead of delaying it, you know, because time is money after all. Facts. Okay. So you can't change the word, but you can change the relationship to the word. Okay. Um, New vision equals new life. New vision equals new life. So what I mean by that is when you're thinking of something and you're having a vision of a better life, prosperity, and you have it in your mind and you're grasping that, you feel good about it. And you're really believing it. That new vision will manifest into reality if, if, I keep saying it. If you have applied faith, that's the only way that you're going to get these results. So you want to have applied faith when you say these things, when you say these affirmations. I am wealthy. I'm prosperous. Um, Take a famous one. Day by day, you're getting better and better. If you say these things 10 times, you say these things when you wake up. You say these things when your subconscious mind is about to be activated right before sleep or you say it right when you wake up. You say these positive affirmations, but you have to believe them. Facts. You have to believe them. Very important stuff, you know. Uh, the law is set in motion by the word. The word does not make the law, but does give it something to work on. So whatever you attach to I am, you become. You give your subconscious mind something to work on. Okay. Um, these applies to both negative and positive. So you can say negative affirmation or positive affirmation. It's up to you. But um, if you want prosperity, you want well, if you want to say things that are positive, when you say, man, I am B R O K E, you attract just that. You can't say that. You can't say. 
I always get S L E E P Y. Can't say that, you know. Um, once our attention has been drawn to this matter, we become obligated to forgive people that don't have this knowledge, that are ignorant to this. You know, not everybody knows how to use the I am to things to their benefit. You know, so when you hear somebody being negative, you have to forgive them because they truly don't know. And it's not right for you to just assume that everybody is educated. Everybody is in a position to be educated. So you just want to start conducting ourselves on a higher frequency. Facts. So remember, let's attach those IMs with a positive thing. And let's not forget either. We have to believe it. We have to believe what we're saying. If nobody else believes what you're saying, you have to believe what you're saying. Just don't say it. You know, 